With this session update, I'm Shannon Lurkey. During the opening day floor session of the 2020 legislative session, senators took a moment to remember the three Minnesota National Guard soldiers killed in a helicopter crash near St. Cloud last December. Today I rise to honor Chief Warrant Officer 2, James Arnold Rogers, Jr. He was born in Medelia, Minnesota and graduate, uh, was a graduate of St. James High School. That is uh, Senator Rosen's district. He was a graduate of St. Cloud State University. That is Senator Ralph's district. He lived in Winstead, Minnesota, and that's the area where Senator Hoffman grew up. He uh, enlisted in the uh, Minnesota Army Guard and attend attended the uh, Black Hawk Hel Helicopter Flight School in Fort Rucker, Alabama. And I want to bring uh, to your attention that uh, Senator Lang is also a military helicopter pilot. And I mention these specific senators because I want to illustrate for the family uh, the connection that James had all over the state of Minnesota. And to illustrate for you just how seriously the Senate as a body and as individual senators take this type of uh, a ceremony. Chief Warrant Officer uh, Rogers was killed in a helicopter crash on December 5th, 2019. And during his military career, he uh, uh, was deployed overseas uh, in Operation Enduring Freedom and Operation Inherent Resolve to Kuwait. And during his military career, uh, I wanted to uh, specifically mention the various honors and medals that this man had been awarded. He received the Air Medal the Army Achievement Medal, and he received that two times. The Army Reserve Component Achievement Medal, and he, reserved, and he received that two times. The National Service Medal, the Global War on Terrorism Expeditionary Medal, the Global War on Terrorism Service Medal, the Humanitarian Service Medal, the Professional Development Ribbon, the Army Service Ribbon, the Overseas Service Ribbon, which he received on two different occasions. He received the Army Armed Forces Service Medal, the Basic Aviator Badge, the Inherent Resolve Campaign Medal with Campaign Star, and the Minnesota State Active Duty uh, Award, which he received three times during the, his career. And finally, he received the Minnesota Good Conduct Medal. James is survived by his parents, James and Beth Rogers, his sister, Candace Falcons, his grandmother, Patricia Huffman, and many aunts and an uncles. And members, we have with us here today uh, his, mo his mother, Beth Rogers, if she would stand, please and his sister, Candace Falcons, if you would please stand. His mother is currently in the Air National Guard. James' father is, or I should say, was in the Army National Guard and is now retired. And his sister, Candace Falcons, is uh, employed full-time in the Air National Guard. So to the resolution, Mrs. Rogers and Mrs. Falcons, uh, to you and to your family, today the Minnesota Senate resolves that it recognizes Chief Warrant Officer II, James A. Rogers, Jr., for his dedicated service and ultimate sacrifice to our state and country. It is further resolved that Tuesday, February 11, 2020, is recognized as Chief Warrant Officer to James A. Rogers Day in the state of Minnesota.
Thank you very much for both of you attending. Mr. President, I yield. Senator Ingebrigtsen. Thank you, Mr. President and members. All too often uh, in the Senate, we're called upon, and without hesitation, we recognize people who give so much and give the ultimate. And today, I'm going to do the same uh, uh, with regards to um, uh, Warrant Officer uh, Charles Nord, who also went down during that, that terrible crash. Uh, my sincere and heart heartfelt condolences go out to the families of Chief Warrant Officer Charles Nord of Pura, Minnesota and his two fellow Minnesota National Guard members, service, service members who tragically perished this December. The three servicemen were courageous members of our National Guard, and their loss serves as a reminder of the sacrifices that men and women make to preserve our defense very, every single day. The legacy Chief Warrant Officer Charles Nord and his fellow servicemen will be forever remembered by our state and communities in northwestern Minnesota. Chief Warrant Officer Charles Paul Nord will be remembered for his easygoing nature, his quick-witted humor, and an incredible love for his family. I am told that he was proud of two things in life, his family and his flying of helicopters for the National Guard. My thoughts go out to Chief Warrant Officer Charles Paul Nord's family, including his lovely wife, Kaylee, his daughter, Lydia, his unborn son, Jack, his parents, Paul and Monica Nord, his brother, James, Tiffany Nord, and a large extended family. On behalf of the community of Perm, we all want, our, we all want to offer our prayers along with those of a grateful state for the great sacrifice your husband, your son, your father, your brother made in service to this country. Today, the Minnesota Senate and the state of Minnesota officially recognize Chief Warrant Officer Charles Paul Nord for his dedicated service and ultimate sacrifice to our state and our country. Thank you, Mr. President. Senator Howe. Thank you, Mr. President. And members, uh, this uh, helicopter crash that took these three members of the Minnesota National Guard, uh, it happened about five miles from my backyard. So it was uh, really something to watch that fire department go out. I had a son at the airfield that talked to these three gentlemen as they lifted off, and uh, having no thoughts that nine minutes later, uh, they wouldn't be with us anymore. So our hearts are heavy with the loss of Warrant Officer Candidate Court M. Plattenberg from Avon, Minnesota, and the other two National Guard soldiers, CW2 Rogers and Nord. And our prayers continue to be with them, their families, and the Minnesota National Guard. While this particular unit recently returned from overseas deployment, the fact that this tragedy occurred on native soil reminds us of the challenges our soldiers face every day, including when presumably safe at home. Warrant Officer Candidate Court Plattenberg is survived by his parents, Steve and Laura Plattenberg, sister Isabel Plattenberg, grandmother Teresa Elliott, girlfriend Brianna Anderson of Clovis, trusted companion, canine companion Max, and countless friends and co-workers. To paraphrase President Reagan, some people spend a lifetime wondering if they've made a difference in the world. Warren Officer Candidate Court Plattenberg didn't have that problem. He made a difference by serving and helping others. Our state and country will be indebted to him for his extreme sacrifice. I hope the tremendous outpouring of support and prayers from all over Minnesota will validate the high regard that everyone has for this fallen soldier. You have our deepest sympathy, and I hope you can find some solace in knowing that your loss is shared so deeply. Today, the Minnesota Senate 
and the state of Minnesota officially recognized Chief Warrant Officer Candidate Court Plattenberg for his dedicated service and ultimate sacrifice to our state and country. God bless Warrant Officer Candidate Court Plattenberg and the other American heroes, and again, please keep these families they left behind in your hearts and prayers for the sacrifice that they have made are, the sacrifices they have made are something most of us will never know. Thank you, Mr. President. Senator Anderson. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, members, uh, I attended two of the family uh, to the funerals for these uh, members who courageously gave their ultimate sacrifice for our country. But today I would also like to recognize personnel from the military, from the Minnesota Army National Guard. They're in our gallery representing our three fallen heroes. And those that we've honored today, I would like to mention these men who are with us. Colonel Promotable Brigadier General Sean Mankey, Chief Warrant Officer 5 Brent Jensen, Command Sergeant Major Brian Soper. Thank you, gentlemen, for being with us. Standing on the floor of our state capitol, I'm reminded of how many have sacrificed so that in this moment we can safely exercise the freedom to govern ourselves for the good of our state and the good of our nation. The final act of sacrifice by Chief Warrant Officer 2 James A. Rogers, Jr., Chief Warrant Officer 2 Charles P. Nord, and Warrant Officer Candidate Court M. Plattenberg was not in vain. They honored their communities, and in turn, we will strive to honor them every day by embracing the liberties they died for. To these men's families, you have the support and appreciation of all Minnesotans, of all the Senate, and everywhere in this state of Minnesota. The sacrifice of every member of our military and their families will never be forgotten. We hope you find solace in the undeniable impact your sons had on each one of us. I hope we bring their memory and honor them with the work we do here for our service members and their communities. You are in our hearts. You are in our prayers. And may God's hand of healing and his comforting presence be with all of you now and forevermore. Mr. President, I would like to ask for a moment of silence. Members, please stand for a moment of silence.